What's up everybody, it's your boy Ken Andrew Dealey and today I got five sewing machine fixes. Whether your thread is breaking, your needle's breaking, your machine is just not doing what it's supposed to do. I got five quick fixes which you can try out and hopefully will fix your problem. I used these fixes a lot and it seems to work for me every single time. So hopefully it helps you guys out. Anyways, let's get straight into the fixes. So the first fix is re-threading your machine. Yes, it's that simple. When you're using your sewing machine, something might accidentally skip and mess up your pathing for your thread. So re-threading your machine is Probably the best thing to do, I actually advise you to do this first before you do any of the other fixes. Now if you're a new person with a new machine and you don't have a manual, I found a really easy way to find your sewing machine manual. All you need to do, go on Google, put your sewing machine model and then manual. Usually it's up there on Google, but there you go. That's pretty much fix number one. Fix number two is switching out your needle. You don't know how much times I start a new project and I'm like, yo, what's going on with my stitches? They look so bad, they look horrible. Or if my thread is not catching on, what's going on? If your needle became blunted, or if you're just not using the right needle, switching out your needle for the right one, a new one, can hopefully fix your problem. For fix number three, this is for all your thread problems. So your thread is too loose, too tight, it bunches up in your fabric, spider web thread is what people call it, or your needle keeps breaking. This all has to do with your tension. Tension might be too loose, too tight, not just right. So you just wanna go ahead and fix your tension. Now your tension should always be in the middle of the wheel. Middle of the wheel is always four to five depending on your machine. Now if you're working with a lot of layers, you might want to go to a looser or lower number on your tension dial. If you're working with thinner material, you might want to go higher, a slightly higher on your tension dial. Whenever you start a new project, always, always, always fix your tension. I don't know how many times I've messed up a good piece of fabric because I haven't properly fixed the tension so make sure to do that and just try it out I know people say you need to mess with the bobbin case and twist it do all that don't do that it's not meant for that don't try to mess with the bottom bobbin if anything keep that screw on the bobbin as tight as you can and just mess with the top dial don't ever mess with the bottom bobbin okay don't do it fix number four or solution number four is less of a solution slash fix and more of a mistake people make people use two different thread types so just make sure to use the same type of thread for the top and the bottom bottom being the bobbin top being whatever you decide to put on top the last solution or fix that i have for today is oiling up your machine your machine might just be corroded, your machine might be just really old, and your machine might be dirty. So you just wanna oil up your machine, grab some oil, sewing oil, and just get a Q-tip, that's what I got, I got a Q-tip. Your machine might run smoother, might run better after you oil up your machine, so just make sure to do that. And that's all the solutions that I have for today. I'll come up with more solutions in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. It's your boy Ken Andy Daily. Remember to keep it daily and I'll see you guys next time.